Hello, hello, hello. I am Gepwin, and this is Scrolls. As you may have noticed, I'm not in the arena screen today. I'm going to build a new deck. I've been playing with that energy deck for too long. Uh, I am thinking of trying to make a green, uh, or growth, as they call it here, growth decay deck. So, these mixed decks are a little difficult to do. Because you have to deal with the two different kinds of energy. It means you can't get anything too expensive until quite late in the game unless you have a bunch of totems or something, which... Uh, they don't have totems for decay, and I don't have the good synergy with decay and uh, green, unfortunately. Let's take these, because those are <coughs> very good against attacks. So my idea is I'm going to get uh, some rat cards, because there's a couple of good rat synergies, which, uh, which aren't the best. Rats are pretty weak. But he can still get some okay stuff with them. I think I went too far with this. <coughs> so since this deck is going to be kind of difficult to get large things out, I want to base it around having smaller creatures. Let's, uh, let's get some of this for creature draw. It's nice. With some buff, I'm going to put in... I'm going to put in buff cards. A lot of buff cards and a couple of larger creatures. A lot of buff cards and poison. My wolf. Two health. Let's see here. Definitely want that. Because that'll give me undead husks. This is, these guys are free mana, so I definitely want them. Always, I always, always put these uh, satyrs or vaders. I'm not sure how they want you to pronounce that. I call them satyrs. The satyrs of the wild. Definitely want that. This plus two for everything is an amazing buff card. Let's see. These guys poison them here. Pretty cheap. I definitely want as many kinfolk graves as I've got. One, unfortunately. The Kinfolk Brave are great attacking every turn. Right, let's put in some more poison. Some more poison stuff here. Poison for three rounds. I've learned that these uh, Searing Shackles are great for dealing with walls. Also great for dealing with large creatures. Let's see. Sisters of the Fox is great because of the card draw. Get an early creature with some card draw attached to it, which is a nice, nice, nice place. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. Mist is nice. I'm running out of cards. I'm gonna put in a couple of. Let's see. I definitely want this because that plays well with the rats. I think I'm gonna go a little over 50. This totem is good if I get up to four mana. Hmm. Rumble is okay. Whenever a creature moved its cooldown is increased by one. That's nice. Let's get a few of these guys to round out my buffs and some uh, muck eaters since a lot of stuff is probably going to die. And I know people are probably yelling at me with how many cards I have, but I've found in mixed decks you can go over a little bit as long as you get good card draw, which I hope this will have. Alright, there's that. I don't have enough wolves for that to be useful. And. I think having haste of that guy isn't worth it. The card draw with this guy is not worth it for the price. And then everything else just gets a little expensive for what I'm going for right now. So let's see. <coughs> let's save this. Let's call it poison. 
Alright, and let's test it out. I always test them in Arena. I've heard people say to test them against the uh, against the computers, but I always just do a quick match. It's not like you lose anything. And you get in really quick. So let's try it. I don't see it going well. As I just built it. Kind of a kind of a weak premise, honestly, but we'll see. And I got a lot of a lot of cheap cards. So with any luck I can flood the board of cheap cards and fighting an energy. Which usually doesn't do well in the late game. Face by five until next turn. The house let's sacrifice that for green and then let's play Vader. Now he's probably got some early removal for energy that's going to take him out on turn two or three, which is okay because next turn I'm going to play my Shroud of Unwife, which will get me a husk if he's killed. There you go. And that gets me an undead husk for very little, very little cost, which is nice. So the nice thing with these mixed decks is it's way easier to play <laughs> to play multiple cards if you want because you have two pools of energy to draw from. Uh, this isn't very useful right now. The leeching it's useful later on if you have some larger creatures. At the moment, not that great. So I want to move him down. Let's see, this grave lock isn't going to be as useful. I did searing shackles on that thing. Without a husk for now. I wish I could sacrifice something else, but I already sacrificed for cards. Okay. Let's see how he's gonna handle these things. Okay, somebody's getting burned. Well, I got him some card draw for that guy. Let's sacrifice this gray flock so that we can. Put some shackles on this thing, and that will slowly take out this. He's either going to have to destroy his own thing, or it'll slowly take out his uh, his idol. And then I've got a husk creature that I can play next turn. Unless he's got some direct damage for this guy, he's probably going to live. It's almost impossible for him to hit me with this thing. I do wish I had something to deal with that card draw. I don't want my husk and... So I want my husk. And I want my kinfolk brave. I do I want to put my shroud of unlife... I'll put my shroud of unlife on my kinfolk because he's a bigger target. Yeah, he's, he does less damage but he attacks every turn and anybody who knows that wants to take him out quickly before he gets buffed. Oh, this... Uh, Oh wonder. Deals two damage to a random idol. Ooh, that is interesting. I don't think I've actually seen this one yet. However, I play a spell or enchantment. Okay. Well, unfortunately, I was gonna have to deal with that. I should have sacrificed one of those two scrolls. That was kind of a silly move. But now everything I have will turn into a husk if it gets killed. And we're starting to take out some of his stuff. I see card draw being a problem. I don't have a lot of card draw for for green or purple. Growth or decay, if you want the technical things. I came to this from magic. I think a lot of people did. Okay, so I tend to just call them by colors. Let's actually hex him for idle damage. Yeah, I know that it's doing a lot of damage to my idols randomly with that thing, but it can't be helped. Next turn, I'll play my rot here. And then he'll start getting buffed up as the things die around him, which will be nice. He's going to get a lot of card draw the next turn. And I wish I had a quick way to take out this thing. So that's really hurting my that's really hurting my deck. 
But on the other hand, his idols are getting pretty bashed up. Okay, so he replaced that guy. He killed... He killed my, uh... Yeah, he did kill my husk, but it got replaced with another one. Dang it, this thing is good. But I want my muck eater out if he's going to be killing stuff. Let's get out my muck eater. I'll destroy his idol there. We got this guy that does five damage to an idol per attack because of that. That extra he's getting. Oh well, he had a good run, and he just increased the attack of my uh, muck eater. I think I'm gonna move all these up. Oh, what's it gonna? Do? Okay, this is. That's nice. I'm gonna move all these up a bit here. out a wolf. I don't need to sacrifice a lot for this deck because I've got so many little creatures. So many low cost creatures that I can use. Like seven. And this guy's a four four. So I need to focus this thing down. Unfortunately he's got another one of these out. Another health spitter which gets annoying if there's more than one. Sacrifice for cards. Let's put another rod eater on the field. Let's do some. Let's do a little bit of shuffling here. Oh. I like this layout. He can kill my muck eater, but then that's gonna give my other muck eater some bonuses. He can kill one of my creatures with this little with this little guy here. Dang, I need some of these things for my I need some of these metal wonders for my energy deck. Those are good. So far he's not getting lucky with his uh not getting lucky with his mortars so far. Three and four. Let's see what I want to do. Let's actually just sacrifice that for cards. It gives me two wolves. Let's move that forward. That's gonna kill his mortar, which is getting annoying. And let's put wolves across here. This thing, I wish that thing had a rage or forget the term. I wish that thing could attack. More than one creature. I'm gonna save this for now. There are a lot of little stuff surrounding him. Ten to a four, five. Sacrifice creature equal to the health of. Let's see. Sacrifice this creature and a t number of creatures sacrificed. One, two, three, four, five. I would turn him into a ten. So. Uh, him into a 10-8 creature, which would be pretty good. <laughs> Any attacks next turn, I should consider that. So I would actually just take out this in one go. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will do that. If that takes out this idol. And then this idol's dead in two turns unless he can get rid of his uh, cannon here. He's walled up pretty well otherwise. But he doesn't have anything that can take up my stuff in two turns. Ah, he was able to move it. That's okay, because now I can just start attacking that row, or this row. And he's gonna 
have a hard time pecking this down. Uh, he is just pecking at it, which is annoying. Mind you, that attacks a creature. Let's move that down. Put <coughs> that there. Let's put out the mangy rat on that row. Hmm. If I keep playing enchantments, I'm gonna see if I can get more. All right, let's put out her and let's get some hard draw. And if I can kill her uh, soon, then I can take out that idol. She does two damage. Yeah, she does two. And I can sacrifice her winner is up. So at the moment, even if he kills her, this idol gets destroyed. And all those damaging things are annoying, but they're not going to take out my, my muck. It's going to do four damage when it attacks at this point. It is annoying that if he keeps killing stuff around it, it's going to keep being unstoppable. And I've got another Rod Eater. I'm liking this deck so far. I think it's got some good synergy. Got all those little creatures from green, and then a bunch of other creatures from decay that work with my creatures from green. Creature becomes poison for three rounds. Put on another later. Let's put on another muck eater. He's gonna attack, get harmed, but nothing I can do about that. Really. Next turn, they they're done. Even if they kill this. I don't think there's anything they can do. They've got a lot of a lot of stuff to attack creatures, but they're dead as soon as I sacrifice my Darkling. Just tell me that doesn't look like the Wicked Witch from, from Wizard of Oz. I know that's what it's based on. It's gotta be. Alright, well I took out all of my other stuff with this sacrifices, and I win. It's a uh, GG, how oh, they left. It's trying to be polite. And since I'm low on decay cards, I'm actually going to go to the store and just buy a decay card. I know it's not as good a value, but I've got a bunch of other stuff from these random packs. Focus on decay, I might get more of what I need. Infectious Blight, which is pretty good. Let's actually go to the deck builder. Did I get any of those in? I can't remember if I have any Infectious Blights, which might be a better call than some of these uh, pillars here. Let's see. Alright. I like to organize these by cost just so I know what I'm getting at here. Infectious Blight would have been fairly useful in that other game as well, so... Let's see, this Pelly does the decrease attack by one, it's okay, but it's not that good. So let's actually prune this a little bit. Let's put in some Infectious Blight, and let's put in that other witch that I got, a loyal Darkling. I'm always gonna call it a witch, because Come on, it looks just like a... Wait, did I get another Darkling? What am I thinking of? I don't know, this would have been useful as well, the... <coughs> the melee wall. I've got enough little creatures. I think I'm going to put those in. I know that brings my deck way back up, but... I think it's working for a two-part <coughs> deck. I think I'm going to jump into another game, but I'll make that a new episode. Uh, this has been Geffen. I hope you've enjoyed. Check back for more. I'll see you soon.